Hi and welcome to RC Aviation and today we have the mini race wing from Flybot. The main concept of this wing is that you've got two wings on the side and then these just um, are connected by a couple of screws that are friction fitted and then the actual wing pops off in a collision between any other object and the wing. This means that the wing won't be damaged. You can also loosen or tighten the motor mount screws to adjust the motor mount angle. Also you can adjust the CG by actually moving the centre pod forward or backwards in relation to the wings. Right so now we've had a look at the concept, we're going to have a look at all the individual build parts and see how good the quality of them is. By the way this manual was printed off the internet because you can actually download the, you can download the 28 page manual which is actually really thorough and it's got everything from building it to any tips that you can use for building the plane. So you can actually print this out off the internet for free. Right, so here we go, we've got the left wing here, and as you can see, it's really well cut. The survey mount's already cut in. And what I've noticed first about the foam, it's really dense, and without the carbon fibre, I'd say it would be strong enough, but the carbon fibre will make it really strong. Also, we've got a little bolt at Elevon. We've got two of these one for each wing and these just attach there and we'll be adding them later in the build video. These are machine cut really well and they've got a really nice edge to them. Here we've got a little hardware package so let's get this open. Right so first off we've got some of the little nylon screws these are for the winglets. We've also got two battery straps. These are for going on the center pod to attach the battery. Here are the two winglets. These look like they're made out of core flute. Here you've got some ball links servo links. Um, they look like they're quite high quality. Also got some plastic bits. Here's the control horns. Don't quite know what these are for, but we'll find out in the um, we'll find out later in the video. You've got a motor mount, and you've also got this adjustable motor mount which has a carbon tube. These look really well made, all these parts, so I'm impressed with these. And also you've got a few and also you've got a few servo extensions. Right, so next up we've got the carbon fiber hardware package, so let's have a look in here. Firstly, we've got all these little bits of carbon fiber, some of them have the metal already inserted. You've also got the top and bottom plates for the center pod. These also have the little metal threads in them so you can be able to screw into them really easily again here you've got all of the carbon fiber for the wing and here you've got the push rods for the servos here we've got a load of decals that look like they just peel off for the wing and here we've got a load of screws which I'm not going to unpack now I'm going to unpack them in the build um, later on in this video because I don't want to lose any of them finally we've got these little carbon fiber strips that you can just insert like that and that means that the wing's going to be stronger and there's also slots for the other pieces of carbon fibre. For this build I've decided to use a 50 amp Skywalker ESC and I've also decided to use a T-Motor F80. Um, also I'm going to be running this on a Freestyle 2200. I might up that to a 2200 4 cell or 1300 4 cell. Now I've finished getting all the things out of the box and take took a look at them, let's have a go at building this plane. So first off in the instruction manual you've got a few safety instructions and you've also got a list of all the parts that you should have with your plane so I'd advise to go check all of them. Basically all you need for this is a razor blade, some tape and some super glue. Right so the first step is to get all your carbon fibre out. So you need the little strip for the front, you need this longer piece and you need this short piece. First step is to slide this into there like that and then you've also got to get a small one and get it to the front and st and just screw it in like that use a little bit of twisting motion and that'll get it in and from there you can just tend to screw it then you can push push it in and there you go you've got that in now and you want to check that this is 20 more millimeters into the foam which it is and that's got to be exactly 21 millimeters out then you get the second one and repeat the same process making sure to screw it in gradually and then you can just tend to push it like that and it will stop when it hits that and then you can then check that it is 21 millimeters 21 millimeters like that which it is at the moment and there you go you've got all your pieces of carbon fiber in now loosely Right, so there we go, we've got all the carbon fibre slotted in now, into its slot. Now we want to get our super glue and glue them in. Right, so I'm using this type of glue, and this is foam safe, you've got to make sure it is foam safe. Once you've done that, 
you can just glue the, glue the carbon fiber rods by applying glue to the surface like this. Make sure you go over all of the carbon fiber. Now you've done that, you've got all the glue on it. You want to go over with a scrap piece of foam, so you just get all the glue off, all the excess glue off the outside. That'll make sure that you don't end up with any glue sludges on the outside. Right, so now I'm just using tape to actually seal the edges so that the bolter does not get wet and you just have to cut around the edges. So I'm going to do a time lapse of me doing the two of these. Now I've covered one L of one with the tape and it looks really good, so I'm just going to do the other one now. Right, so now we have to attach this L of one to the wing. You've got to, you've got to cut a piece of tape out this, the length of the L of one, like that. And then you want to place it halfway over, like that. Then you want to, get a big, then you want to make it sure it's stuck on there well, because this is going to be your only controls with the plane. That'll, make, that'll decide which direction it flies in and you just want to cut off the edges like that then you want to get it up to the then you want to get it up to the wing like this and you want to make sure you make sure it's right next to it and the wings actually level and the elevons level on the ground and you want to go to the middle and go like that and then you just want to start, start spreading it outwards like that making sure there are no tape bubbles underneath the tape and that will mean that you get a very strong tape joint and then you're going to want to flip it over like that and cut the protruding bit on the wing of the you want to cut the protruding bit of, um, of tape on the wing out there you go you've now got a really well functioning elevon you might want to just snip a bit of that off to make it a bit more of a flush fish and um, flush bit and um, flush bit. But at the moment, I think that's absolutely fine. And then you want to repeat this to the other side of the wing. Right, so now it's telling us to bend this back, and then we're going to have to get our tape and do a little hinge on the inside to make sure it has its full strength. Right, so you want to go to the end and place half on this side, and so you want to put half there, and then you want to do it all the way down the elevon like that. Make sure you stick it down really well. And when you get around here, you just want to start creasing it. A little object like a razor blade would help here. You can just start creasing it round. But make sure you do this really gradually because you want to get the most, the best fit possible. And you want to get the best attachment of tape. And you just want to start pressing it in. Use a lot of, use a bit of force to get in really well. And then once you've got it on a right angle like that you can really start working it into the tape hinge to make sure it's not going to pop out mid-flight. Now you've done that part you want to start bending back over like that just gradually to get it around the bend first in the corner. Don't worry about the very end foot at the moment. And then you just want to start creasing it back even further. that but yeah and you just want to fold it back once you've done that and really start pressing that down so that it doesn't come loose right so now you've done that you want to get it off with a little razor blade like that Now you've got an inside tape hinge and an outside tape hinge to, to make it doubly strong. Here is a template that you use to find where to cut out your control horn notches on your Elevon, so you just need to cut them out.
Right, so now I've got this cut out. Right, so now I've got this cut out, we're just going to place it centre there, like that. And we're going to have to get our razor blade. Right, so now I've got that cut out and it's centre there. We're going to have to get our razor blade and we're going to have to cut a little notch all the way through the wing for the control horn to sit in. Right, so there you go, I've just slotted it in, dry fitted it in, and it did take quite a long time to just get that in, but it's useful having a bigger implement as well, so you can just widen the hole a bit. Right, so now that we know it fits, we're going to add a little bit of super glue, and uh, we're just going to add a bit of glue, like that, and the other side, like that, and we're also going to add a bit down the bottom. I'm also going to go back with a piece of foam. We're also going to go back with a piece of foam like that just to scrape off the excess glue. And make sure it gets all the way down into the crevice. And there you go, that's that done. You just need to repeat that on the other side of the wing. The next, the next step is to measure 75mm from the edge of the push rod from the screw from from the end with the thread on like that now you've got a little mark there you want you're going to want to cut that with a pair of pliers next up we're going to need the ball linkages out of this packet and they want you to screw it all the way and they want you to screw the push rod all the way into the ball linkage end. What they want you to do is you want to get some pliers and they want you to push the other end onto the other ball linkage like that. Next up you're going to want to get your servo out of the packet. These do not come included in the kit, so you're going to have to buy your own servo. And you want to take the servo arm out. I'm just using these little 9 grams from... I'm just using these little top spring 9 gram servos. I just went with some tape all around the leading edge and the little root here um, with some tape so that this will prevent any damage being caused severely to the front of the wing when it hits a tree or something. Now I'm up to the stage where I'm going to make the centre pod so I'm just going to do a time lapse of me putting this all together because it is quite a lengthy process. Right so I'll see you in a minute.
Right, so this is the point at which I'm going to start installing the electronics so into this little area. So I'll, I'm just going to cut this time lapse here and I'm going to meet you back when I've installed all of the electronics. See you in a bit. Right, so there we go guys, we've finished the build now and as you can see I've got all the electronics installed and I've got the wings attached to the actual fuselage. I've also covered the wing and tape, this means that it's going to be a bit more strong when it's a separate, when it's being through, when it's being through crashes. I've also got my dummy run cam because the other week I did actually break that, so I've got a, um, I've just put the casing on with the weight to simulate flying characteristics before, um, while I'm getting every, everything sorted out. Right, so as you can see, I've just winded the wires around the back there, and I still need to get my prop for this. I've just uh, right, so I just need to get my prop back in. I've got all the FPV gear installed. I've got an FPV camera. I've got an Eagle 2 up front with a uh, with a Fox Ear video transmitter and a pad going at antenna. I've installed the receivers on a right angle. The antennas for the receivers. This means that I'm going to get best reception at different angles. I may install two Metal Gear servos in the future, but at the moment I'm just going to use these going to use these 9 gram plastic servos, plastic gear servos. As you can see the wing the winglets here, they just pop out like that. And then when you want to put them on, you just go like that and like that, and that means that it can be reduced easily for transport into a little package. Alright, so that's the end of this video. This was the build video. Next week I'm going to have a flight video and a review video of all the characteristics and telling you any tips that I might have for the future when, for the future if you decide to make this kit. Alright, so thanks for watching and I make new YouTube videos every Tuesday at 10am. I, I do update you if that time changes every Tuesday on Facebook, on my RC Vision Facebook page. Link is in the description. And also, and also if you enjoyed this video, please give a like and that will... And hit the notifications, but um, hit the notifications bell if you want if you want to get an email when all my videos come out. Right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.